John here again. And we are on episode 22. When will this series ever end? Ooh, firework outside. Anyway, distracted squirrel moment. Right. As you remember from the last episode, I couldn't land the lander for toffee. And I was getting a bit concerned that I'd broken something. So, here we are. And it's taken me um, five, six days to try and figure this out. And I didn't want to put it on uh, video because it would have just been boring but it's taken me six days to do this right so what I'm going to do is I want to show you the problem F5 so I've got to put it back to how it was so here we go now I'm just going to pause this for a second can I pause it pause it yes and here you can see I've got some debug information. Now what it is, this is the X high byte. So that determines whether the uh, sprite's over here. And if it's zero, it's on this side of the screen. This is the X low byte, so that's roughly about 60. Then we've got um, the horizontal velocity figures. So we've got the um, fraction, low, and then high, I think it is. And you can see in a minute what it's going to be like. So let me unpause it. So as you can see, the numbers change. So the X is going up, and then that one, that zero will become a one in a minute. There it is, it's one. Now, if you can see, right, the lander is not moving horizontally. So if I make it now thrust to the left, right, can you see what's going on? Look, this here suddenly goes mental. Absolutely mental. So when I get it back on track. <laughs> Let's try that again. Let's try that again. F5. So I'm going to try and show you what the problem is. Right, so let's get it over there. Slow it down to a stop. There we go. So, right, you can see it now. So let me just ho hover it there and see it blew up on me and I wasn't even anywhere. And so I'll just show you it again, see if I can catch it. Right, so it moved to one, there we go, and it's still moving up across, right? So there, I've stopped it, it should be zero. Now, I'm going to make it go this way, and this here, watch this one. Let's try and pause it. It's going mental, and this carries on doing this. So let me see if I can unpause it and catch it in time. There we go. And what was happening, can you see it's now a reverse quote. If I'd have brought it back and tried to land it, it'd be testing the lander position, which is one in the high byte, with whatever reverse quotes is, which is like 230 something or whatever, or something like that. And that's why it kept failing all the time. And that's why I kept crashing, because it was failing the test. 
And so it, and it turns out that it's, oh, it's difficult. I was doing two's complement addition. So if I try, uh, let me see if I can try and explain it. So we have x high, x low, and then we have um, horizontal high, horizontal low, horizontal fraction. And what was happening was we have the inertia as well. Yeah. So inertia high, inertia low, inertia fraction. And what was happening was when, so these are zero, and then this was one, this was fine. It was adding one to this, and this and this would stay the same. And so that would act. Then the, this horizontal velocity would then add on to here. But the problem is, as soon as this, and I mean as soon as this went negative, which is, so minus one would be this. As soon as I added it onto this, then that went zero, but then it went and made that 255 and this 255. And what was happening, it was adding this to the high byte, so it became one and zero. And 255, 254, 253, 252, 251, and just carried on going. Because I was adding with carry this this two complement thing. And that took me six days. So what I've done, I've created a new um, sub or macro which basically does two's complement. So it's saying it, it loads in the um, horizontal velocity value, the, the important one, the one that's gonna change the X low, tests if it's minus, if it's minus, it goes to the subtract. And what it does, it converts the horizontal velocity temporarily via two's complement. So it converts into a positive number and then we do the subtraction here. So let me activate that. So we get rid of the add and we add this, we do this two complement add and we'll run it again. F5. Right, so we're doing the same thing again. So let's slow it down. Right, so we've gone into the one territory. So now we're gonna we're gonna make it come back on itself. And look, it's doing it now. It's still right. It still says it's one. So let's see if we can land this thing. There we go. Six days took me. Six days after work for about three hours a day. It took me six days to figure this out. So what we're doing now is we're converting that, that value that's gone into two. So when it goes into the subtraction area, all the values, the high bit is set. So we test for that and we we'd convert into we do two complement on it and then we subtract it from the X. And now it works. In your face, 6502. So I've put a lot of debug code in here. Um, oh, it's not in there, is it? It's in game flow. I put a lot of debug code. So this is, this is the debug code. So let's uh, rem this out. Let's run that out and in the math got some debug code in there so we're going to run this out yeah run that out run that out 
Bring that out because that's showing me that's showing the two complement. And oh, got one there as well. So we should now have got rid of all those debug characters. F5 it. Let's see if we've got rid of them. Right, here we go. So now we should be cooking on gas. Ooh, close. Ooh, close again. Now, the landing routine is not taking vertical velocity in. Oh, bingo. Taking the vertical velocity. I was just inside it there. So that's another thing we need to test of when we're doing the landing test, that we're inside the um, allowed limit. But first things first, I wanted to I wanted to expand the sprite set. Which one is it in here? No, no. I wanted to expand the sprite set. There we go. So this is our Lunar Lander sprite, and I wanted to, I wanted to make it, I wanted to make it an eye definition sprite. So what I was thinking of was, we're gonna have to. Preview, which is this. The problem is, if I do that, we're going to affect, yeah, we're going to affect the sprites coming in. So I'm going to have to create another file because I don't really want to mess around now we've got the uh, explosion animation working so uh, okay let's make another one of these can I copy it let's try Containing folder uh, Neptune Lander. Is that one into it? Sprite SPT? Yep. Yeah. So let's copy that, paste that, and we'll call that Neptune Lander. Extended. Whoops. Right, so now we've done that, we can in, not import, we can add, can't we? Add. Oh no, it's not a new file, we want to add existing files, so add existing file. Tune extended. There we go. So there's the. Uh, so we can get rid of these other ones. So we can delete, 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 delete. New. Insert before. There we go. And what I want to do is I want to fill in all this area with white. So I'm going to do this. Uh, so that's the sprite colour, so we'll make that white. No. 
make that black. And then I'm going to make this one white. There we go. There we go, that's better. And we're going to fill in all the gaps with white. Right. Let's get on with it. Arthur, what's going on? Sprite editor. Maybe because I've deleted some scratch pads. Not there, there we go, it's working now. Right, so we want to put that there. I want to put that there. Now, how can I change that background? Let's expand YMX so we can see what we're doing. I can change the background. Can't change the background. Ah, color. Red. Go. No. That is not what I wanted. Black. Change that colour. Red. No. Black. Red. Set, expand, expand. There we go. So now we can see where we're going. So. Cross one to there, and then down one exactly the same length, and then the other one is one, one more, and then exactly the same length. And then I think it was three, yeah, and that's four down, I think. No. That's it. Then we are there, I think. Yeah. And then two below it. And then one here goes to there. Then it's that's a long way that is. So I think it goes to about there. Nope, two more. And then the same for the next line. And then two by two. One more there. So that's another three. Two and then the same length to there and then two down by two and two there. There we go. 
that's filled it in. Right. So we're going to delete that one because we don't need it. So this is so file save. So we're going to import that sprite in now. So that should now give us the um, the background for that sprite. So I just need to figure out game okay, memory. Where's my constants? Can't remember where I put them now. Oh, here we go. Right in the front of my face. Right, so thrust was five. Now the uh, the death scene, some game flow, sixteen, sixteen. So this must be seventeen. So Luna Lander, and then SP Luna Lander. Windows 17. So we need to now create, set up a new lander at the right place. So we need a new sprite. No, we don't need a new sprite number because we can use no we need a new sprite number for the background right better put one in so I'll put it in oh no I can't put it there can I so I've got all this laid out now right Runa, and uh, Window SP nope and then Luna Lambda Window Color Right So we should be able to set this memory to constant that so that should be setting up the sprite now we need to enable it Then we need to set the position. The position is the same as the lunar lander. Just that it's using this sprite number instead. Yeah. Set the color. Now I've just realized White is one, isn't it? So get that, do that. Da, da, da. So that's setting the maneuvering colours, and we're disabling multicolour. And we need to do that for the other sprite as well. Right. Okay. So, set in the position again. 
So we'll just copy this. Paste that there. Checking, making sure. Because the death scene, so we're not in the land there, so the death scene. Here we go. So we need to set the window sprite to nothing on the death scene. Sets the colour for that. Does the app uh, does that? Right. Hmm. That would be too easy. That would be too easy. All right. Let's try it. I think it's too easy. I'm sure there's something else I've got to do. it was too easy. Thought it was too easy. <sighs> oh. Hang on. Hang on. Bite not. Bite one. Bite two. So this is bite three. Bite three. Third sprite. Third sprite. Now it's setting the colour. Have I changed the wrong one? So that is showing the wrong one. We're getting there, but I think we're showing the wrong one. So I must be setting it up wrong. Let's be Lunar Lander Windows. Let's try 16. No. Oh, what, what sprite number is it? Or if this is right, naught to five. Naught to five. So this is eleven. So that's going to be six to seven. Oh, it's eight. Try eighteen. Eventually. Eventually. Nope. And it looks like it's multi color as well. I don't remember saying it's multi color, did I? Enable. Multi color. Bruno Lander Sprite. Number. Oh, hang on. Hmm. 
Moon Lander sprite number. Set it to that. Turn it on. Set the position. Set the colour. And I've set it to zero. Why does it look like it's coming up as a multicoloured spot? Oh, I thought this was going to be easy. Not one, two, three. I thought this was going to be easy. Right, one. Enable. Multicolor enable. Set the frame right. Looks like. Nah, can't be right. So one to five. Seventeen. So this has got to be eighteen. Let's change it. Let's make it nineteen. See if we can get a different thing out of it. So we're not getting anything there. So there's nothing there. There we go. Sorted. Hey. <laughs> Maybe I should have used yellow. So it's gold plated. So you can land it. Hey! Bingo! Right. Now we've got a filled in lunar lander. God, it's 35 minutes. Right. So, what? let's just recap what we've done. I fixed my... Um, fixed my calculation issue. So now we are testing for the right um, coordinates. I've also uh, 
created a second sprite to be used as a filler uh, to make the Lunar Lander sprite look a bit more filled in. And so in the next video, let's start coding up. Now we can land properly. Let's start coding up the, the scoreboard and the and the, the reward structure. So another long video that I thought was going to be short. Anyway, if you like this video, click that like button. If you didn't like the video, fine. Hit that dislike button. Always leave me a comment. And if you'd like to be cut, if you'd like to support this channel, consider becoming a patron of mine. All the money raised in Patreon comes back to the channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye. I'd like to thank all the patrons that are contributing to my channel. Without you guys, I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing right now. Thank you very much.